And we begin with that deadly mass shooting just days before Christmas. A gunman killing at least 14 people, injuring 24 others at a university in the heart of Prague, the Czech Republic an area well known to tourists near a popular and crowded Christmas market. Police flooding the scene at Charles University, one of the oldest universities in the world. One eyewitness describing the chaos, hearing shots and police sirens, then everyone started running. Police arriving within minutes, racing toward the gunfire, weapons drawn, students trapped inside the building, some climbing out the window, perching on a ledge. Video showing the alleged gunman pacing the roof, shooting down, firing what appears to be a rifle at random. Ambulances rushing the injured to nearby hospitals. Tonight, authorities ruling out terrorism as a possible motive and say the gunman was a 24-year-old student found dead on the sidewalk. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge leads us off from the scene in Prague. Tonight, a mid-afternoon massacre in Prague. The deadliest mass shooting here in modern history. A gunman firing down at one of the city's most iconic squares, near the famous Christmas markets, packed with tourists. At least 14 people shot dead, according to Czech officials. Around two dozen injured. At 3 p.m. local time, police saying a 24-year-old student arrived at Charles University after killing his father outside the city. This video allegedly showing the gunman pacing the roof, firing what appears to be a rifle at random. Students trapped inside the Faculty of Arts building, some climbing out the window, even perching on the side of a building to avoid the gunfire. Armed officers swooping in within minutes, terrified students evacuating with their hands up. Scores of people sprinting across a bridge to safety. Ivo Havranek was inside when he heard gunshots. It was a couple of banks. I didn't even realize it's a, it's a shooting. Then uh, suddenly there were uh, students and teachers running out of the building. At 3.20, 20 minutes after the first reports of gunfire, the killer was found dead on a sidewalk. And while officials say they have ruled out terrorism as a motive, police tonight combing the university building for possible explosives, saying the suspect owned several firearms legally. Authorities discovering a large number of weapons and ammunition in the faculty building. It appears this tragedy could have been much worse. Tom Sufi Burridge on the scene for us tonight. And Tom, what more are we learning about the gunman? Yeah, we're at that building there is the arts faculty, a scene of horror earlier. Officials here calling this rare mass shooting unprecedented and insane, saying the gunman was inspired by a similar shooting abroad. His motive tonight, unclear. Whit? All right, Tom, with those late developments today, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.